Aunties. Welcome back to the palace. This is Tammy, Glam Queen of DIY. And today we're doing a Glam Mariah Carey inspired DIY. This is part of my Music Legend series. But before jumping into that DIY, if you want to learn how to style beautiful home decor, create stunning and fabulous DIYs, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Tap your bell twice and you'll know when I am uploading a video. All right, we're going to jump right into this DIY. I purchased um, two of these hurricane vases from Hobby Lobby. So you're going to need two of those. Two of my Pilsner glasses from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using white, this color place spray paint and this is Walmart brand. You're going to need your Mod Podge glitter and I got large glitter flakes and regular size glitter flakes. I am going to be using Hobby Lobby's the Ribbon Boutique Silver Ribbon. We're going to be using Hobby Lobby his and hers gemstones. You're going to need your scissors, your paintbrush, this portion of this video is sponsored by BB Craft, and I'm using that uh, Hot Fix Sheet Strips, so you're going to need that. And I'm also using that uh, Diamond Rhinestone Hot Fix Sheet as well. You're going to need glue of your choice. I'm using uh, Fix All Adhesive and E6000. And you're going to need a paintbrush. Just a, a tip, I use this uh, Modessa makeup brush and it works wonders doing your mod spot all right now what i'm going to do first if you want i'm going to paint these pieces and i'll be back once they dry royalties my pieces have dried and i just put a light coat of that white and i spray paint at the inside of those so what i want to do i'm going to set this to the side because the larger piece has more work to do on it and I have pre-cut my pieces. I cut that hot, sh hot thick sheet. Look at that. So we're gonna take our glue, our glue, and what I'm gonna do with this piece is I just want to layer the fix all on. eyeballing it to get it straight. And because the angle of this glass got the curve, I just want to do a little snip Another little hack, everyone. If you're going to use that hot big sheet and you're doing a piece like me that says curvature or it's different because we loop small and get wider as we go. And all I'm doing, I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure so I can go ahead and get it to lay down. We're gonna decorate out this bottom piece first. So from that, I'm going to take my March Podge. And my glitter. 
and I'm going to just use the regular flight glitter. So we're going to use that. And again, try that makeup brush too. So we're going to just take that. And all I want to do with uh, this is I just want to come off the top of that. All I'm doing. I'm just going to come off the top portion of that. And this has been doing a lot of writing here in my area. I hope y'all days still going great. You're staying in, you're staying safe, only going out for your bare necessities. So what we're going to do now is, and you see how I, I just added glue all the way around, for March part that is, all the way around, and I'm just going to come in. I am still that civil girl. This is for a piece that will be styled in my home. Now look at that. We are going to And I decided to add in these large gem adhesives from, from Walmart instead of using the smaller ones if it's going to require me to do a lot of gluing. So, and all I'm doing is this. I'm layering it right at the lip of my vase. If I don't stick my hand all in my glitter. And I'm just layering it right at the lip of that vase. going to do with the top piece and again I pre-cut two of those strips and I want them to fit on my face like such so Doing is, I am taking the strips. 
as such. strips of threes cut and I have quite a few of those and what we're gonna do while I still got this here because I'm gonna have to I want to add a layer on the inside and the outside and I'm just rubbing all the glue now because I want it to Start to get tacky. This will. And I am going ahead and adding my glue in there. I'm going to add a gem here on the top side as well. coming right up next to that I'm doing the rhinestone hot fix sheet up against the other diamond clustered hot fix sheet once layer up to the outside and one is going to be layered to the inside So I have this side in. I got a layer in the other one before my glue dries. So I'm just layering it in. Just my glue is started to stiffen up.
that. I'm liking how this looking and I'm not even finished, but we're almost finished everyone. Now what we're going to do next is this. That's why I opted for these. I want to layer my top rim with the gems. So all we're going to do is again, we're going to get them right at the lip. And these are super sticky. And we're just going to come across layering them in. And I'm going to layer that top and that bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in that. And I'm just securing my ends and my edge down. We have that all the way around. I'm going to take that single one off that's stuck. And I just want to cross and dot it in a few dots of the glue. And all I'm going to do is this. I'm going to just go around. I'll tell you, this... Um, packet of gems here is super sticky which is what I love you just have to be more careful when they're this way because you see and again you probably say that's wasting your gems it depends on where you have pieces sitting as to if we'll have to do this here. I'm going to go ahead and finish my bottom. All right, now we have that there. Isn't that beautiful? And you see we have our diamond trim on the inside here and here next to those pieces. Look at that. So, and what I'm gonna do, I'm bringing this piece back. I have already mod podged it. So it can dry. So I just want to take a trim or two and I'm going to use the hot glue with this and I'm just going to do a very thin light coat just at the base of that. Without burning. Now 
we're bringing this almost to a close or almost at the finish line. I still want to add a trim of that rhinestone hot fix in there. And to everyone, make sure you check out BB Craft information in my description box because they do have, offer a sponsorship program. You just have to have 100 subscribers, that's it. So I'm dropping all of their information and the details for that sponsorship program down in my description box. And you see what I'm doing? I'm taking all of my and pieces or extra pieces because I don't want to waste any of this. Wow. All right, everyone. And I thought I was filming while I was gluing this bottom on, but I glued the bottom on. She's looking like that. And then we're getting ready to connect both pieces together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this upside down and set it here. And this I'm making sure I use my E6000 quick hold. And the way I like to do is I like to do a trace of the E6000 and I'll add the hot glue in the center, a little bit in the center and a little around the edge. Now you see how I have that just there. I'll put my hot glue in the center and along that outside edge. So we'll go in the center and on the edge. And I will still let this piece cure for 24 hours, 12 to 24 hours that is. And all I'm going to do is, and I'm just eyeballing what looks centered on here to me. And go that way. I'm just going to add pressure pushing it down. Make sure I leave this in place. And I'm going to adjust the angle so you can see our finished product. Alright everyone, that concludes my Mariah Carey inspired uh, glitter hurricane candle holders. And doesn't that piece look lovely? And they, they are oversized, but this is one gorgeous piece. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You're going to have to see where its actual home will be after my Christmas. Uh, so when you see my New Year's home tour, you will see where these will be styled. But tell me which part of this vase do you like best? Is it that hot fix? crushed rhinestone sheet or the regular rhinestone or is it the gems or the combination of all three but they are complete make sure you check out that music legends playlist we have another DIY in that with that we started this series off with that Dolly Parton inspired and this is the my Brow here inspired be on the lookout. You're going to get a, a DIY in that Music Legend uh, playlist probably at least once every two weeks or maybe a little bit or either once a week. We're going to see. Be mindful. My normal upload dates have been Thursdays and Sundays, but I'm going to bump them till uh, you'll get a video from me on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's right. We're going to do three. Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Tuesday and Thursday DIY. 
Tuesday DIY will go up at 5 p.m. Thursdays at 7 p.m. and Sundays will be 5 p.m. So this Tuesday at 5 you'll see a video. Thursday at 7 and Sunday at 5 again. Alright everyone and that concludes this um, Mariah Care Inspired DIY. And still if you're watching and you're still not a family member of the Glam Queen of DIY why don't you make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tap that bell twice so you'll know when I am uploading a video. And you know, if you've been rocking with me for a little while, you know your girl can't close out anything without letting you know to always, always, always be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move. I'll see everyone of you in another upcoming video. Bye everyone, stay blessed, and always, no matter what is ever happening in your life or going on in this world, stay positive.